Greetings everyone and welcome to episode 48 of Nariyama's Let's Play Minecraft version 1.12 using Direwolf 20's mod pack. Uh, today, like I said in the last episode, we're going to do some more Botania stuff. Uh, I want to show the enchanting uh, mechanism for Botania. Uh, and uh, in order to give it a good target for enchantment, we're going to make some Terra Steel armor. So I have the, the Terra Steel all set up here. Now, to make Terra Steel, you have to make the, um, the season runes. Uh, I did that ahead of time. I actually only had to make spring. Uh, all the others were already made either for other items or um, for the... Uh, or, or for or from the Gaia uh, encounter. So there's our Terra Steel helmet. Let's get the chest plate. I didn't make these ahead of time. So some really nice things about the... Oh, we need more. Duh. I guess I was not quite as prepared as I thought I was. I completely skipped the making of the Terra Steel. That's okay. We'll get it going. As you can see, I expanded a little bit my uh, uh, endoflame thing there. Um, and uh, I also created a single pool with a recessive spark that then attempts to fill any nearby pools. So what it does is it fills all these pools over here, which makes this have a whole lot more mana available, and it uh, converts faster because it has four sparks to feed it. So that's good stuff. Uh, I think we need three pieces per, so we got three so far. Let's see how many we can make. Um, even if we can't make all the pieces right now, I can uh, go into uh, how to make the enchanting uh, mechanism, which is really neat. Um, it does use uh, a little bit of mana, if I recall correctly, but um, it does not use up the, the enchanted book that you give it. So you throw the item that you want to enchant and an enchanted book on the ground, and it creates the enchantment but it doesn't use up the book or the or the anything else so let's throw these back in here let's throw this in there and go back to making our chest plate all right chest plate let's go ahead and do legs and we'll do boots last there we go all right since we don't have the the mana right now to do the boots we'll just leave that go all right so we got terra steel helm chest plate and leggings now uh, between episodes i did upgrade fully upgrade my wyvern armor and my wyvern bow uh, to the wyvern tier for all the different upgrades which is really nice um and uh the bow is just silly now uh it fires ridiculously fast and um does crazy amounts of damage. Uh, so we'll probably use that in the future. But for now, let's take our uh, Wyvern stuff off and go with the Terra Steel. Now, what's really cool about the Terra Steel is uh, similar to the Wyvern stuff, like, you know, the Wyvern has a, has a shield and RF to protect it from item damage. Uh, mana Steel and Terra Steel armor uses mana to protect it from item wear. Um, which is really nice. Now, the Terra Steel stuff is really cool. The other thing we can do, um, we can take these wills and add them to the helm, and they create a helmet that is pretty strong. Um, hold on just a second. All right, I'm back. Um, so the wills are kind of like an enchantment on the helm, uh, I think there's a total of six of them. I don't know if I have all six. So I've got Darak, Torag, Carol, Arim. Uh, I think that's all that we've got. Um, I could probably kill the Gaia Guardian a few more times and, and get the others. But um, So anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab the Terra Steel Helmet. 
throw these in there. Whoops, wrong one. Now you will notice after we do this, right? So we have passive mana generation on mana tablets, regen even if hunger isn't topped off. Um, yeah, lots of lots of goodies. Um, uh, we probably have enough. Why don't we finish it out here? One, two. So each piece requires three pieces of terror steel, um, and of course the the armor piece that goes with it. So. Uh, where'd the mana pearls go? Oh no, I got mana pearls. I just need mana steel. There we go. All right. One, two, three. And of course, the nice thing about this is that, you know, it, uh, because it doesn't take as long anymore. I don't mind doing it on camera. Um, oh, you got to be kidding me. Really? <laughs> we'll push it off with the mana tablets. <laughs> Oops. Just barely not enough. So you do definitely want to have enough mana available when you're making Terra Steel. Otherwise, what will happen is um, it'll consume the mana, but it won't make any progress. So you'll just never get there, which that's no fun. There's our boots. Let's grab the Terra Steel version, and voila, we have the full set. All right, so now we got the full set of Terra Steel armor with a bunch of other stuff on that. So 20% less cost on mana tools and rods, regen even if hunger isn't topped off, passive mana generation on mana templates, which we already have with our Greater Ma Band of Aura, which basically means our mana tablet regenerates reasonably quickly. And yeah, good stuff. Like I said, these won't take damage. They will instead use mana out of the mana tablet. Um, which, I mean, you know, depending on whether or not that's what you want it to do, that's, you know, good or bad, take your pick. Um, so we're going to throw the wyvern armor in here. I know uh, this isn't my, my item bag, but my item bag is kind of full. So, enchanting. So, obviously it would probably make a a fair amount of sense to put things like protection and other stuff on um, the armor there. So why don't we go make a few books and uh, we can make that happen. So we need to grab... All right. Let's look what we have here. Show recipe. So I'm going to want, we'll say, protection four, which is a buttload of dark steel. Uh, fire protection for sure. Why not? Even though fire doesn't hurt us anymore, but yeah, lapis. Uh, we'll do blast protection for which is gunpowder, and sure, projectile protection for which is arrows. And I have plenty of all of those, so let's go up and get. The, probably the only one I don't have is dark steel. Let's see. Uh, do I have a recipe for that? No, I don't. That's okay. Steel. Uh, what is the recipe for dark steel? Is it iron? Might be iron. No, I smelt it. Yeah, iron. Okay. So I need coal. Uh, the pulverized version. I need obsidian. Which I probably have a stack of in my inventory already because I need it for the what you call it? And iron. Okay. So let's go ahead and just alloy smelt that up. There we go. Um, and we'll make the other three while I'm while that's going on. Do we have feathers? Yeah, we do. All right. So I need feather. How about ink? Ink. Ooh, we're a little low on that, but that's okay. Book. Okay. One. Two, three, four. All right. But where this really becomes interesting is the unbreaking one. So actually, I want book. Uh, we want one more book here. We're going to make the unbreaking uh, book because it's going to demonstrate why this is so awesome for us. So let's see here. 
What does the unbreaking one need? I think it's just obsidian, but I could be wrong. Unbreaking. Uh, oh, I saw it. It's at the top there. Yeah, obsidian. Okay. The other thing we might want to put on this is soulbound. I don't remember what that one uses. That uses an ender crystal. What are those? Uh -huh. That is an expensive thing. That's fine. We can make one. Uh, do we have... We've got the slice and splice. I don't think that's what we need. We need the, the other thing. Uh, we might wait on the soulbound, but we can certainly do the unbreaking. So let's get another... I've got a stack of obsidian, but let's get, let's get another stack. Let's get some lapis. Let's go make these. All right, so... I'm going to need my Tome of Experience, probably. Uh, where'd you go? There you are. So let's go put these on books. Now remember, the whole idea here is to not have to constantly be making these books, right? So... I don't want to have to make this again, basically. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to grab... Oh, I forgot the, uh, the other stuff here. Ah. Like, I really like the Sojourner Sash and everything, but that's kind of annoying. All right. Uh, we needed arrows. Where were they? There they are. We need blaze powder. Stack of you, and we need gunpowder. There we go. Let's go check this out. So, book and quill, gunpowder, whoa. 24 levels, huh? Sure. Glass protection 4, book and quill, arrows. Eight levels for this. Wow. Glad I had all this stuff saved up. Alright. Now all we need is that dark steel, which hopefully has made enough of so far. Dark steel. Oh yeah, we got plenty. There we go. And we're probably going to need a bunch of levels for this too. We'll go up to 18 just to see, but uh, here we go. Dark Steel, Book and Quill. Ooh, 28. Nice. There we go. Alright, so now we have the Enchanted Books. All we need to do now is go and... I can throw those in there. Don't need that lapis. Do need that one. Uh, don't need all this obsidian. Just uh, some good stuff. That's for my bow. Alright. So let's go make ourselves... An enchant a mana enchanter. I should put a sign up above those saying which one goes goes where, at least for now I remember. Um, so if we open up our Lexica Botania, uh, mana enchanting is under natural apparatus. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff. Botanical Brewery, this thing is really neat. Um, it makes, like, multiple-use potions, which are really nice. Um... But for the moment, we want enchanting with mana. So let's visualize this. We'll go ahead and stick that there. All right. So what it looks like we need, and it, of course, tells us, oops, we need uh, 17 obsidian, uh, 10 mystical flowers, which I already have, 6 mana pylons, which I don't, uh, and a lapis lazuli block, which I took out. So we're going to need a block of obsidian underneath this. There we go. Now the reason this is not a full whoops, pattern 
is because you need dirt to put the the flowers on. So this requires actual flowers, not the functional flower, or not you know something you make in the petal apothecary, but actual flowers. So let's grab those. We've got some mystical flowers here. There we go. We need that. That. There we go. Now I used one type of flower. If you wanted to, you could use different types of flowers, but you know. And then we need six mana pylons. So pylon. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. And then, of course, the Lapis Lazuli and Structure Complete. Okay, so if we look in here, it says, okay, do this. In order to utilize the Enchanter, one will place, if you right-click the item, the Enchanted in the Enchanter itself and drop the Enchanted books inside the circle around it. Okay. Items that are already enchanted can't be placed in the Enchanter. Well, that's good to know. Um, to start the Enchanting, right-click the Enchanter with the Wand of the Forest. All right, so we are going to want to make sure we have everything we want to enchant these with before we enchant them. So there might be some other stuff that we want. Let's go back to base really quick. Um, because things like Respiration, uh, Aqua Affinity, um, you know, Jump Boost, stuff like that are all things that we might want. So let's go check out what other enchantments we could make. All right. XP boost, don't need. Uh, well, Feather Falling, no, I don't need that. We've got Flight. Uh, respiration. I like this. We can, we can do that. So that requires glass bottles. So that should sort of go on the list here. There we go. We already got these. Uh, Aqua Affinity is always good. We can get a lily pad fairly easily. Depth Strider. I have no idea what that is, but sure. Uh, why not? Ooh, rose bushes. That's kind of that's kind of um, unique. Uh, we'll get some of those. What else? So that's for thorns. Officially silk touch, don't need those. Mending, probably don't need that because these aren't going to take uh, damage in the traditional sense. Uh, Lock of the Sea, I think, goes on a fishing rod. Don't need that. Sold on, that's the other one. That would be really nice if we could get. Um, don't need any of that. Night vision? Sure. Try that. Eight stardust. That's that's doable. Uh should probably put that on the on the list. Okay. Um what else? Anything else? So really just the soul bound one is the one that I think really should go on everything. Um and that requires a vibrant crystal and a soul vial of an end enderman. Okay, I can make both of those, so why don't we do that? Uh, vibrant. Oh, hey, we already got that. Cool. So, we have vibrant crystal. Excellent. Uh, I am going to need another book. So I'm going to need uh, seven of them. I don't know if we have enough ink. Uh, I've got f enough for five. Well, I'll go grab a uh, uh, an octopus really quick. And uh, why don't I go do those really fast? So I'll, uh, let's see, soul vial. I'll grab an enderman. I think that's how we get the ender crystal is uh, the soul binder. So 
I'll build this really quickly. It's not terribly hard to, to build. Um, just need another soul machine chassis and some heads, which we have plenty. Some solarium ingots, which we have plenty. So, yeah. Um, let me go prepare all this, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, I went ahead and put the soul binder there. I combined a soul vial with an enderman and that vibrant crystal to make an ender crystal. Um, so we got that. I also picked up a bunch more ink wherever I put it. So let's make some more, some more books. We needed three more, right? Yeah. One, two, and three. Okay. So now we need a glass bottle. Glass. Uh, we got a bunch from killing things. We need three of those, as I recall. It's a prismarine. Uh, some rose bushes. I think I have a few of those, actually. Oh, I don't. Son of a gun. All right, and some stardust. And we need some more of that. All right. Iron ore. Do we have some of that lying around? We do. Awesome. All right, let's uh, head back to the Astral Sorcery Base, and we'll grab this. Um, and we should be able to find some lily pads while we're at it. Uh, so... And, of course, our trusty linking tool. Hello. Thank you to these. All right, while that's transmuting, let's go find a lily pad. Uh, so what we're looking for is kind of like a marshy or a bunch of lakes. Uh, this will probably have what we need. So that is to the north east of us. Let's go. Only take a second. So again, the whole idea here is um, you get to enchant an item once. So you have to give it all the books you want to give it uh, all at once. Um, which I did not read ahead, so uh, I, I didn't do the class reading, evidently. I didn't realize that before we started the episode, or I would have had that prepared ahead of time. But such is life. All right. Um, I don't know if these will give us lilies. What are you? You are a flowered lily. Not what I'm looking for. Uh, thank you for adding extra things to the game that I don't need. But that is what I need. So let's grab three of those, because I'm guessing it needs at least three. We'll get a few more, maybe. All right, and back to here. Did we transmute yet? Not quite, but we should be pretty close. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I'm full health. Let's uh, go ahead and eat. Get ourselves all the way up to that full saturation. Very cool. Alright. Come on. Transmute. Uh, it's getting close to night, so the transmutation happens much more quickly at night. So I think we can just hang out for a second and let it go. So that... Uh, chalice that I made a few episodes back, this can also be used to make items that uh, are created when liquids combine. So you can make the, use this to make obsidian uh, for lava and water. You can use it to make uh, aquamarine shale, which is lava and, uh, at, and uh, starlight. Um, so it's one of the ways, if you're running low on aquamarines, that's one of the ways to actually get some more. Um, Kind of cool. Oh, you know what I never did between episodes? I never went went in and uh, reset up the, the iron. <laughs> I probably have a whole thing full of iron there, don't I? Uh, I'm curious now. Let's let's check that out. I don't have the, the inventory space. Now what if I did this? There we go. I'm curious how full this thing is. Well, it's not full yet, but that's a lot of iron. I only take a stack of it for uh, our 
our purposes. We'll put the living rock back in here. Why am I getting cryodamp dust? That can go away. Uh, let's take a stack of iron and we'll add it to our filter here. Uh, iron was... Just gold. All right, iron was in here, I think. So there we go. And now we should get lots of iron coming out here. Awesome. Iron production is back up. Let's head back and finish out our books. So that goes in there. Let's head down here and oh, you know what I need? I need lapis. Of course. Lapis Lazuli. Why do I have so little? Oh, so the game crashed during uh, one of the, when, when I had the pause there. The game crashed, so of course, now I have to come in here, break this, reset it up, and I'm not going to be able to do that because I need inventory space. There we go. Um, yeah. I'm not sure why, it just said uh, fatal error, and uh, that was it. All right. Got our got our uh, big storage spot back. Of course, the other storage spot isn't, at, isn't working either until I break its external storage as well. But we're just going to keep uh, heading on here. There we go. 14 levels, huh? Awesome. Uh, 25 volts. So the respiration one's actually kind of nice because there are some interesting things that we could do in the last episode. Um, one of which is uh, go raid a guardian temple. Um, so uh, one of the things that got added to the game are these uh, temples underwater that... Um, that are filled with those uh, guardians that shoot like laser beams at you. Um, they're super annoying when you're trying to actually get somewhere, you know, uh, like by swimming. But otherwise, it's kind of a cool addition. Um, so, what else am I missing here? Oh, I gotta go make the star metal. Yeah. Uh, some stardust, please. All right, so we're gonna put these. Whoops, we're gonna put these in here. Just gonna kind of make some room here. Um, what I'll do is I'll bring a like a chest or a, a crate with me to the botany area and store the store these in a crate. Once we get to that point. Alright, so we did that one. We did that one. Uh, I think we did that one. Uh, oh, Death Strider, yeah, there we go. We don't have ice. But we need Stardust. I think we're just going to leave it at... Uh, the, at these. I don't really need Thorns much as much as it would be fun um, I'm good without it so we'll leave some lapis in there we'll grab our thing and let's go back uh, get this get this party started oops wrong one that was deliberate I wanted to sleep And since we're already in the overworld, let's just fly over there. All right. I did want to make a, a crate or something. Do I have one in here, maybe? Nope. All right. Turn off my magnet. So this build is interesting, but the fact that I have to turn my magnet off every time I come over here is a little annoying. Things I wish I had realized beforehand. All right. 
So, grab our books out of here. Whoops. There we go. Now, let's look at our Lexcopitania. Okay, start the enchanting. Right click the enchanter with a wand of the forest. It will scan the books, and once it's done, a spell circle of sorts will appear around it, indicating the books can be safely picked up again. Uh, it will require mana. It can be fed via one of two ways, either via mana burst or nearby sparks. So why don't we put a spark up on top of that. And let's actually make two sparks. Uh, oh. Okay. I think we're going to want, well, let's see. Uh, it, it could be close enough. Otherwise, we could always move this closer. Um, I'm not sure what the range of a spark is. There we go. I just had to turn it into the actual enchanter. Um, and now that should work. Well, let's let's see if it'll work. And uh, we can always... Ah, uh, that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure it works. <laughs> why? Why guess, right? Why guess? All right. Where is my, oh, I put it in here actually, living rock. I need two mana pools. Actually, I don't need two, I just need one. <laughs> I am all over the place today. All right, so if I do that and that, that should get mana from over here. Perfect. Now, all I need is a dominant uh, a dominant thing. So spark augment dominant. There we go. Um, I think I actually think I don't need this. So let's let's try it without it. I don't know how much mana we're going to need, but let's throw the mana tablet in here just to sort of fill it up to begin with. And then we'll make an easy one. We'll make the the chess piece or something like that that doesn't have a whole lot of extra um, bits. So, Terra Steel chest plate. Let's throw you on there. Okay. Then we need unbreaking. Let's do project or protection for this one. Uh, Soulbound. Unbreaking. That should be good enough. Okay. So, whoops. Then all we should have to do is right click this. Whoops. No, 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 no. screw this up. Sure did. Son of a gun. Because now I can't use the unbreaking and stuff on it. Dang it. Okay. Uh, new uh, item that we're going to make. The Disenchanter. So let's uh, head back really quick. <laughs> and I need to make sure that I don't pick up those, those books when I... Uh, Click on the enchanter. All right. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. This enchanter. So I need two enchanted books, which I think I have. 
book. Even if I don't, I can grab that one. I've got one of these. I'll just grab another lily pad thing. Uh, lily pad book. Not enough lapis. It's a little strange, but sure. Good to go there. Whoops. Where is that disenchanter? Disenchanter. There we go. All right. What? What does that require? Oh shit. Okay. Uh, we need any enchanted books, draconic stuff. I guess uh, we don't have that. those. We'll make one, two, three of those. And one of these. Okay. Nope. And nope. I want the XP boost to... Oh, and Aqua Affinity, Aqua Affinity was the right one there. Okay. Disenchanter. So I don't know if you need power or not, but we're going to assume you do, so we'll stick you right there. Uh, you. I guess I need a book. This is a convenient way of duplicating enchanting books, I guess. Twenty levels, there we go. Extract. Awesome. Okay, so now that doesn't have any enchantments on it again. <laughs> Let's try this again, except be a little more careful that this time. Okay. You. There. Unbreaking. Soulbound. Protection. We're going to throw those down here. Click that. There we go. Looks like it's working. Evidently, you need more mana. There it goes. And I think I just click this to get it. Yep. Okay. So I used quite a bit of mana. Um, but you notice we now have Protection for Soulbound, and Unbreaking. Awesome. And we can do that with the rest of these as well. Um, I'm probably going to just do that off camera is going to be my guess. Um, actually, here, let's do this. Uh, since we have a boatload of uh, mana there, um, let's make the spark augment dominant. Let's grab that. What we're going to do is we're going to make this a dominant one, and it's going to draw a ton of mana from everything else. Um, then I think... No? Can I... No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. How do I pick this up? Uh, do I 
build something over it? I don't know. Ah, there we go. Shift right click with the uh, Wand of the Forest to get the uh, augment off of it. And now we should be able to... Uh, what do we got here? Where's my earth or dirt? Dirt, there we go. Now we should be able to do the rest. So let's grab legs, because I think we want the same things for the legs. Uh, let's go over here. Soulbound. We just want a different uh, protection, I think. So projectile prote uh, Let's do fire protection. Well, we don't really need fire protection anymore. Um, what do you get used on? Boots. That's it. Okay. Aqua Affinity, Night Vision, Depth Strider, and Respiration. Okay, so we'll do this one. We got Unbreaking, Soulbound, and Blast Protection. We'll hit this. And assuming all goes well, I'm curious how much mana this actually uses. So, at this point, we're at a quarter of a mana pool. Just about half a mana pool. Wow, still going. Over half a mana pool, that's impressive. And there we go. Alright, let's get uh, Blast Protection. Let's get uh, Projectile Protection. And Night Vision. And Aqua Affinity. And Respiration. So I think I use that yeah, on helm. Yep. Okay. So six enchantments on this one. This should be fun. I'm going to try this with the dominant uh, spark. Whoops. And see if that still supplies this one over here. All right. So we want our terra steel helmet. Stick that in there. And we have six enchantments for this. I think. Let me make sure, but... I'm assuming that... Oh, it can go on anything. That's kind of cool. Oh, I wish I'd put it on my pants or uh, something like that. But we'll go ahead and put it on the, the helmet. Let's see. Yeah, it does work. Awesome. Okay. So that's good, because that means this will... I'm assuming this is going to take just an insane amount of mana. Um, but it'll pull it from here. So let's get the last protection that we're going to need. Fire protection. And our boots. We're going to need the boots. That is very cool. So this is a great way of doing enchanting, right? Because one of the, the issues with enchanting, like vanilla enchanting obviously is horrendously inefficient because it's luck-based, right? You you know one enchantment that's going on it, but that's it. Um, and, you know, you can, you can enchant books trying to make sure you guarantee a particular enchantment, like fortune or something to that effect. Um, but it's still horrendously inefficient. Um, so, let's grab our helmets, throw our boots on there, whoops, and this will be the last one. So, we need fire protection, soulbound, unbreaking, wherever that went, and now we have night vision. Very cool. Just like if we had stepped in uh, um, starlight. Where did Unbreaking go? Aqua Affinity. 
unbreaking there we go so sold on unbreaking fire protection and then I think this was the one that needed the depth strider so depth strider protections and click awesome so we used all of our books at least once right um, and we got some good stuff here um, notably we do have a Aqua Affinity 3, which means we can build underwater easily. Um, we've got night vision, soulbound, all that good stuff. Um, we've got all the the additions. I mean, this thing has a wall of text, basically, at this point. Uh, strong weakness on critical hits. Uh, damage increases. Strong slowness. Apply a wither effect. I mean, just craziness, right? Um, so, you know, the... What's what's really fascinating, I think I mentioned this earlier, um, Batania doesn't need you to be very far in the game to get to this point. Um, I mean, the most expensive stuff about this build are the, the Mana Diamonds and the Pylons, and the Obsidian, really, is probably the hardest thing to get. Um, which, you know, let's let's face it, Obsidian is, you know, while... while not easy isn't terribly hard. Um, you know, you need a block of lapis, uh, a bunch of gold. So this took uh, probably about half a stack of gold, too. But, I mean, the utility is just insane, right? Now, bear in mind, you have to have the specific books, in, uh, you know, as well. So, you know, this doesn't work without the Ender IO enchanter that, that we made. I mean, it does work. You would You could do a vanilla enchanting thing and just enchant books from a vanilla enchanter and that's actually not a bad way to go um because you know it doesn't take that many levels of experience to quickly build up a uh sort of like a chest full of different books and then you've got the books available you just throw them on the enchanter there um on a, all you need is mana at that point um obviously for something that's got six enchantments on it um you're gonna need a lot of mana um, and you're not going to get that mana terribly easily without having opened the gate to Gaia, uh, or not Gaia, uh, to Alfheim, because you really need the spark augments in order to make that sort of large mana demand uh, possible. But I think that'll wrap it up for today. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. This one probably went a little long, but that's okay, because uh, today's episode went a little short, so... Uh, get, a, get a little more bang for your buck. Um, not sure what I'm going to do for tomorrow's episode. Uh, we've got two more episodes left in this season. The last episode, I think, is going to be uh, killing the Ender Dragon and respawning him so you can see how to do that um, because certain mods, specifically Draconic Evolution mods, require... Um, Dragon, dragon hearts to make uh, their their stuff. So you only get one heart per Ender Dragon. You need some way of of making more than one. Now there's there's more than one way to skin this cat. Um, one of the things we could do is create an RF Tools dimension that had Ender Dragons in it. Um, that's a fun build. Um, so RF Tools, if we look here. RF Tools has dimensions, right? So, uh, not sure where where it is, but uh, there, there we go. Net note, destination analyzer, not what I'm looking for. Uh, where is the... Those are shield projectors. Those are kind of cool. Uh, power cells, no... I mean, there's so many cool things in this mod, but oh, there we go, Dimension Builder, right? So y you can use this to basically create a new dimension that you can go to. And then you can use the Dimension Editor to give it specific properties, one of which is um, you, can, you can have it spawn monsters for you. So you have to go in and collect uh, bits of a monster which is, you know, a, a struggle all in its own. But once you get enough bits of a monster, you can basically tell it, hey, I want you to build build the dimension with this sort of monster 
spawning in it. And uh, it'll spawn whatever you want. It could be withers, ender dragons, all kinds of goodies. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Anyway, uh, that'll be the last episode, The you know, killing the ender dragon. Um, next episode, I think we may... Well, I mean, I don't want to get into any of the new mods because we really don't have a whole lot of time. Um, I'll tell you what. This episode's going to go live at 7 a.m. Uh, tomorrow, and I will look at the comments, say, at 4 p.m., and I will, if there are any comments about something that you would specifically like to see from this mod pack that is achievable in a half an hour. So bear that in mind, but achievable within a half an hour. Uh, let me know, and I will show it. Um, and, uh, you know, I can I can sort of show off uh, some of the other stuff. There's, there's more stuff from Thermal that we haven't done. Uh, there's a few machines there that are really neat uh, that we haven't used. Um... So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments, and um, if I don't see any comments by four, I'll think of something, uh, and we'll we'll run a, a quick episode tomorrow, and then, like I said, uh, episode 50 will be uh, the final episode in the season. Um, I definitely think that the next uh, Minecraft season I'm going to do is going to be a skyblock. Um, whether it's a skyblock expert mode or just a regular skyblock, sky I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the next the next season. Um, so uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget, uh, put in the comments what you would like to see me build, or do, or attempt. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.